Greetings and welcome back to Idle Miner Tycoon. All right, we're in the Coral Reef Mine. This is the event mine. It has an hour and 13 seconds left. Uh, of course, they added the extra day. I think they did it because of the weekend, and that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. This is actually still Labor Day as I am recording this. And uh, I think I'm going to be able to finish this one up. So let's go on down to the bottom and see what's going on. All right, so I have been working on the bottom one pretty much the entire time since it opened up. And as a result, I was able to get money to open up all these other ones here. And you can see I'm like really right there. Now, it's funny. At the moment, the bottom one is actually not the best one. So let's just take a quick look here. All right. At the moment, the warehouse and the elevator are just handling it. Right? The elevator could use a little bit of a hand there if they, we increase it a little bit. But, I mean, it's handling everything. So we actually have a lot of money here. All right, if I go down to the bottom, you'll notice the last one is not the best one. Actually, the one above it is the best one. So I think in this case, I have been putting all my super managers in the bottom. I think it's better that I finish off 29 and then do the super manager thing there. That way we can um, move this along a little quicker. All right, now I do have a senior there in 29. I'm wondering, do I need it? Yeah, I think I am. Actually, I might going to be able to finish that one. That's going to be tricky, isn't it? Maybe I should throw the exec there. I really want to save the exec for the end. All right. Well, I don't actually have anything turned on at the moment, so I'm kind of hoping it'll be a little bit better than that. Um, if nothing else, we can do a round with the, uh, the piggy bank, and the piggy bank could fix that one. All right. I'm just going to spend... What I've been doing is that I would let the money build up, right? And then I would put a senior in the one that I wanted to raise, which is the bottom, right? And then I would just turn it on, spend all the money, and then I would put the piggy bank there, right? And the piggy bank and then would, ten, you know, gather a bunch of money, and it would be the 10 times that value, right? Then what I would do is I would put the executive there and increase it again. So it's making as much money as possible, and then I'd use my other two super managers to crank money up to work on the uh, the warehouse and the elevator, and then start trickling the money down. Right. So that's what I've been doing. In this case, I hope I'm probably going to end up doing pretty much the same thing here. All right. First rave. Let's just do this. How f close can I get? Seventeen. I don't think I'll need the other one there. All right. But this is clearly making the most money now. Hold it a minute. Uh, let's go down here. I have a two times going at the moment. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go crazy with a twenty. All right, that one is eighty-four point four six percent of the mine. So that's the one I'm gonna be working on, right? All right. So I'm gonna throw the piggy bank in there. All right. Uh, by the way, I have tested this one down here. This new super manager. It's not really entirely useful in my purposes. I mean, basically, the other ones all shoot the money right to the top. So this just creates a lot more money in a mine shaft but the money still has to get up there so if you're behind it's not really going to help very much so but these three for me they shoot the money right up so that's kind of very useful like this one this one's going to gather for 30 seconds get 10 times that and just shoot it up no elevator required right no warehouse required either it goes right into the bank all right and what i'm going to do here i want to make sure we can get this done so i am going to use my first 20 for this I'll use the 20 for five minutes. Worst case scenario, I do it again and use the second one. I'd rather not use one of those 10-minute ones. I only have seven of them, you know? All right, and he's coming back and dropping in there. All right, if you look at the top, we're getting a 62.9% increase in our money. And, of course, he's going to multiply it all by 10. All right, just keep gathering up. I want to get that 29 to uh, 800, though. Then we'll start working on the one on the bottom. Although, once I do that, I'll probably have to do something about the elevator. And done. All right, we're going to get a, a bunch of AY here. Okay, we got seven of it. All right, let's see. Well, first off, how much money is that? Can I get five? I can get five. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a junior in there just to get some kind of a savings, right? All right, if I did it right now... It would cost me 5.64 AY, right? All right, let's activate this. And now it's giving me like half that. So that's that's good. I'm saving money. I need that money, right? 
All right, now I might as well just throw the next super manager there because I might as well just throw the next super manager there. All right, so this is the one that's going to run for a minute, and this is kind of my best money maker. All right, you notice he just tossed a whole bunch of AY up there, right? All right, let's get to work on the uh, the elevator because I know that one's going to be behind. I'm willing to bet the other one's behind too. Yeah, I mean, look, it's doing AX. The other ones are just way behind. All right, let's see what we can do. Here, you take 50. They only need 50 to go. I'm hoping that's going to do the job. Okay, yeah, that actually does the job for now. All right, let's go on back down. If I'm going to be doing... Okay, so how much is this one? I'm thinking now I might as well just put the executive down there to see how much money it's actually going to make me. You know, I mean, think th I, there's no reason to waste any of it now, right? All right, what do I got? 62? Okay, we're nearly there. No problem. I was thinking this was going to be a problem, but it isn't a problem. This will actually be the first uh, event that I completed with their new process. All right, do I have four? No, I don't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that one out, and I'm going to put this one in. This is the one that runs for five minutes. It doesn't do as much... But I think over the course of it, it probably does a lot. But I think uh, as soon as I see an arrow at the bottom, we're going to be done. Because, you know, the last steps for the elevator and the warehouse are never really a problem. And there we go. Okay, so that's 30 done. All right, so now, like I said, this probably won't be a problem. It'll come in eventually, right? All right, let's just do that so the money will be coming up. We still have two minutes of the 20 times... And then we have um, four and a half minutes of this guy sending stuff up. All right, I'm going to go over to here for a moment because I want this to be even so the money will actually come up the conventional well way as well. All right, another six there. Okay, approach like 21 there, right? Actually, I need 21 for both of them. Okay, drop that off. All right, we've got 13 over here. Let me just see what we got. We got five. Okay, it's shooting it up. When they carry that stuff over, I'm hoping a second arrow pops up on the elevator. Okay, and 15. Okay, one more there. Might as well just finish it off, right? Boom, 24. All right, so what do we need here? We just need eight. Do we have the eight? No, we don't. Okay, I have... Okay, I need two. Oh, there's the two. There's the two. Boom. Okay, I really wanted to finish this one mostly because of the Dawn research points. Uh, another ten times for an hour is not a bad one either. All right, we're just going to claim it now. Okay, uh, common chests. Rare chests. Epic chests. Okay, a lot of super cash. Okay, two times for an hour. Another two times. I have a lot of those. I'd trade those for ten times for five minutes because those are the precious ones. Okay, ten times for an hour is also not bad. Okay, two times for eight hours. That's not so bad. It's kind of useful. And another ten times for an hour. Okay, and five fire research points. And, of course, five Dawn research points. Because I'm going to have to start working on getting more of those blue gems from the um, mainland. All right, and we got the gold coral reef badge. All right, so we're done here. All right, so, yeah, I mean, the thing about it is we're going to have to start working on the river over here. That being River 1 Medium. I'm thinking that might be the next video because I do want to get that moving, right? Now, if they do an event starting tomorrow... I don't think I'm going to do a video on it. It's just, I don't think I want to do two event videos two days in a row. I mean, this is Monday. It normally starts on Tuesday. I'm guessing they're going to go back to their five days, eight hour schedule. You know, I would actually appreciate the extra day considering the added level of uh, difficulty that now exists. But the thing is, if they do that, then that means it's going to be, it ends one day and it starts the next day. So... I don't know about that. We'll have to see. Anyway, this I want to do in the next video. Because I said, if they open up, um, they do another event starting tomorrow, I mean, I'll probably do it. I'm going to do it. It's just I don't know about making a video on it. That may be a little bit too 
soon to follow up. Oh, and then expeditions. Yeah, I mean, expeditions, if you'll notice what I actually went for, I think I only have 20 of those left. It's just that those are very precious for working events. So I, I basically will ignore, like, rares if I see one of those on a common. Mind you, I'm always going to go for, like, the epics and the legendaries, that's that. So, like, right there, I mean, okay, there's no rare there, but, I mean, that's the one I'm going for because I want the 10 times for 5 minutes. Like I said, those are very, very precious when you're doing the event stuff. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to look over here. I want to start making some more money. If you look at the top, I did a little bit of adjustment in the quartz mine, and I didn't open up any new... Um, um, mine shafts, but I did a little bit of an adjustment. So we got up to 23.2 AD. Now we need 70. I believe it was 70. Let's go look here again. All the way down. Okay, at the moment you can see that the uh, quartz mine is doing far better. Well, I just kind of, I said I went in there and I increased the last one and then fixed the, uh, the elevator in the warehouse to handle it. So it was generating some more money. Um, but in order to do a prestige of the fluorite mine, we need 70, right? Now, I mean, if I let it go for several days, we'd probably get it. But why don't we just rush it along here, right? So let's go into the um, quartz mine because that's where the real money is. At least we'll go there first. We might look back at the other one, right? All right, and I did a collection before, so that's not a big deal. Okay, uh, what did I do down here? This is what I did. I cranked, you see this one's up to 174, and it is actually handling it up here. I believe it is all handling it, right? Right, right, just, you know, mine shafts are producing 407 AB, and they can actually handle it. The warehouse is the next one up, but it's, it's still, it's not a problem, which reminds me. And I cranked this one up, but, you know, this one just didn't do anything, so I'm just going to take that out, really. It seemed to be similar to the new events, it just didn't seem to have the bang for the buck as working on the bottom. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be like that, but we're just going to do that for now. And I'm taking this one out too. I guess I need to hire somebody else. All right, because we have this open, and let's see how far we can open this down. All right, we're doing 233 AB per second right now. Uh, it is getting boosted uh, by the two times I have going. And there's also a um, a boost video going at the bottom. I did one for all of the mines, so this one got it too. All right, and AB. We can open up a couple of mines here, right? Okay, that's still AC. Okay, we got... Uh, okay, we can't do that one. We're actually not entirely short of that one too. All right, so let's see. I'm just going to throw them in here. All right, uh, that jumped, but I'm willing to bet the problem is the uh, the warehouse. All right, and throw that one in. Even though I don't know how much I'm actually going to use these, but I might as well just throw them in anyway because they're right there. Okay, so I'm wondering, how far behind are we now? It's not that bad. I mean, we did level up the one that was uh, before the barrier, right? And these guys are just one, but I intend to raise them a little bit. So let's see what we can do about the... Uh, I still have the uh, senior over here because I don't have um, enough money to go for the executive. I mean, if I, I don't, I think you need like 90 AD or something like that. Um, so the thing about it is that um, I tested down here to see if it was going by the old rules. It's not. It seems to be going by event rules. So it's uh, much harder to get the, uh, the executive over here. So we're going to have to deal with the senior. I can pull out Mrs. Goodman if I need to, right? So I, I have her in my pocket. Uh, Mr. Goodman doesn't have to know about that. All right, so what I'm going to do is let's get these guys cranking out with some stuff here. Okay, 43. If I did 10 in each, I don't want to spend all of my money, right? Okay, the the uh, idle cash value went up a bunch there. Okay, we're good for now. We're good for now. All right, but the thing is, this one, how far ahead are we there? I'm thinking I might just... Well, the elevator is a little bit more... You know, the thing is, I'm going to lose this one before I lose the other one, so I just want that to be a little bit better. Okay, yeah, 9.64 is much better. All right, so let's go down here. All right, can I get that to 10? Uh, yes, I can. How much can I do? I'm just going to go for the 10 here. All right, we have uh, 435 AB. 
I want the boost. And the boost! Okay. I'm willing to bet we ran into something there. Uh, the warehouse is actually behind. All right, let's go up and mess with the warehouse a little bit here. Uh, let's add 10. Okay, 1.1 AC per second. That's going to be very helpful. Um, it's still, it's not quite up to the elevator yet, though. All right, but let's go down and see. I may not be able to raise this very much more. You know, this is unfortunately the same money as I'm spending for the other mine, so what I'm doing here, I won't be able to do in the other one, right? But let's just see how much production we can get. I'm going to run out of money here soon. All right, how close is it? Oh, we got rum. We got rum. All right, and... Oh, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do this. And I'm out of money. Okay, we got two AC per second. That's going to make it significantly easier to get uh, 70 AD, right? So that's going to make it much easier. Um, then we could do a prestige of the, um, of the what's in the uh, fluorite mine. All right, so that'll actually be very useful too because, and it's all the way down here again. It's only got a 3.8 multiple, and if we do a prestige, it will jump to 15. You know, it's not thousands, but that's certainly going to be a lot better. I mean, if we're going to get the money that way, there's no reason to invest anything in it anyway, because we're just going to reset it, right? So if you look at the, um, the production, remember it was doing like, I think it was like 234 AB per second. So now that it's doing 2 AC per second, that's going to... Uh, get us to 70 we need with no problem, I feel. Um, I still think I want to do the river next, though. We'll do the river river one medium next. For one thing, I want to see what the level of difficulty increase is, right? Another thing about it is that once I uh, open it up, I'm going to have to work on leveling up the first five mines to 800, which is going to take some time. And then once we get those up, then we can start marching down, you know? Uh, we do have some other things I suppose we could look at. I, do, are there any mine shafts over here? I think, was this one finished off? Let me just see. I think this one was one we could finish off. Is it down to 25? Yes, it is. It's down to 25. All right. Let's see. Where is this guy right now? This is the Topaz mine. Let's check it out in the main thing here, right? Oh, uh, Fire Continent. I went too far. This was the fire continent. Okay, the topaz mine is 500. Actually, we're looking at the money increase. Is that the best money maker? Yeah, it is. And we got five more levels to go. It's doing 1.79 AT per second of fire cash. All right, let's see how farther up we can get that. And I want at least that one, right? Oh, a second. Hire somebody and give me that. Probably this senior, too, right? Okay, I just got another senior. All right, that's good. All right, so let's open this one up. And I easily have enough money to open up all of these. And here. This wasn't behind already, was it? Let's see. 18. No, it is not. No, it is not. It's producing three eighteen per second, and they can both handle six. All right. Uh, I have a feeling we're about to uh, bottleneck it, though. Wow, it just didn't move at all when I did that. No, it didn't. I guess it considers that to be absolutely nothing. Oh, okay, I didn't put any... I was like, i never seen that before. So I was like, what is that? Okay, that's because we reveled uh, 25 up to 571. Yeah, so of course it's not going to do anything. What was I thinking? i never seen that before. I was like, what is that? Okay, I see it now, and that's very strange. Okay, let's see what we can do down here. How much can I do? 300? I guess we could take it to 300. All right. Let's see when the uh, idle cash value moves, right? 150? Two, okay, it moved to 200. All right, let's see 250. Okay, 250. Yeah, let's do it again. Okay, 343 AT per second. Is it still handling it? 
No, by a very large margin. So the mine shafts are now doing 101. I should say that one at the bottom is doing 101. And they're both doing 6. Now, I don't know if I have enough money to do anything about this. So let's just see. Uh, I am not uh, encouraged by what I just saw from the warehouse. That's for sure. How much can I do over here? Oh, that's ugly. Well, you know what? We'll just try to get as much as we can out of it, right? All right, let's hit 10 there. Oh, actually, that is really close to um, a boost, isn't it? It's definitely worth pushing it there. Okay, so that one's at 1,600. The, the boost for this one is way off, though. All right, what can I do? 25? All right, let's see. 10, 10. Okay, 16.5 AT. All right, is that all being handled? Uh, no, no. No, no. Actually, neither one of them, even after the boost, neither one of them is able to handle it. It's just the elevator is really far behind. All right, so I'm just going to throw everything there. Okay, 23.9 AT per second. All right, well, that's going to generate money. I'm probably going to have to worry, work on putting um, levels in the warehouse and the elevator here to see if they can get it to handle this. So uh, it is generating a lot more money than it was before. It was like 1.7 AT per second. And, of course, it is way better than the other ones there. Way better. And um, the multiple's not that much better. But the thing about it is that when you have the money to invest in it, well, you, you make it better, right? All right, so that was the third prestige of that one. I'm not really sure who would be next. Would it be you? You want EV. That might be the next one up. This one wants AV. I mean, we have AU now, and we just spent a bunch of it. So, I'm, yeah, I'm guessing this is probably going to be at the platinum line. This one here is AW. No, no, no. Um, yeah, this one, AX. That's going to be a while, right? Uh, AW, and the top one is AV. Well, actually, it's also AV. That's 90. That's 71. All right, so the platinum mine... And then, of course, we go back and we do the amber mine. And that'll be the last one for the amber mine, too. Anyway, I think that that is going to do for now. So, completed my first event of the, uh, the new way of doing it, right? Because of the changes they made. Basically, I just marched all the way down, you know. And as soon as I got to 30, I started beefing that one up. And then working on the elevator and the warehouse to be able to handle the flow of money. And then I use my super managers to boost and make money to that one. And then eventually there was just so much money floating around that I was able to just open up about seven of them straight going right down. And there are times where the mine shafts will actually be making more money. You know, if you run into one of those magical ones like 21 and you get it to 800, that's going to be making the most money. So, you know, what you do at that point, you're going to have to wonder, should I put the super managers there? You know, that kind of thing. But I really, once you boost up the ones at the bottom, the one at the bottom, I should say, you can start making money that way. It does take longer. It does take a lot more effort. But, um, you know, if they give us time, that'd be nice. But I'm not really counting on the more than six days each time. I think they just did that for the weekend. Anyway, I think that's going to do for now. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See you.